Welcome to day four, gratitude, seven days of rest. And I thank you for gathering for the word of call. We are so called to be with the water. to work, co-create for the water. And I'm very honored to, for us to be together for the water now. And when I do water calls, I usually let myself guide by the water spirits and many times we are gathering around the crystal of remembrance that is i show it to you here what on the canvas this is um a not yet seen crystal that uh, in the 3d world we don't see that yet but with our inner eyes we can see it we can feel it um, it has one that goes from the ocean up into the sky and one um, pointer that goes down into the ocean and very all and there is a couple a few small um, crystals that are making a circle around the main pointers and it's very high it's about 20 meters high and it's uh, in the pacific and yes it is my painting <laughs> it's a soul freeing <coughs> soul freeing image as i call it and um you also see uh, the energy and energy field and um, I just want to I, I bring it to another angle because depending on how we look at it it's always a little bit different and um, thank you Susan and welcome and it's it's good for you to know that it's there it's in the Pacific Ocean and we will be gathering around there it's a very very powerful crystal and that crystal um, has a lot of duties well the main duties the main duty of course is to support our remembering but it's also supporting us in the water call i mean when i was taught about the crystal of remembrance um, we very fastly realized that its duty is for the waters hmm. and first 
I would love it if you unmute yourself and try to let really the, I will say one word and I would love it if you let your brain outside because the brain is very very fast so I will say one word and I would like for you to bring into our circle what comes to your mind first the very very first thought and maybe the second and the third but that's probably already <laughs> some kind of brain <laughs> And um, the beauty of what we're doing now is if two or three are bringing the intention or the word that you heard into the circle together, where it's like droplets of water. So never mind if two or three speak together. Just let it happen. Okay? So, Susan, you're muted. If you wish, unmute. And if your doggy says something, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what comes to your mind? The very first picture or word when I say water. Shell. Life. Life. Purification. Love. Play. What did you say, Kathy? Play. Play. Mm -hmm. I had an image of myself very young playing in um, the river on the farm where I grew up. Wonderful. For me, it's the width of the ocean the endless infinity and light and connected to all that is a deep deep love I just feel a huge love so whatever whatever you just had as your first impression and whatever calls you in relation to water and gratitude to that. May you dive in to that for a moment. I will play some instrument, I don't know what yet, but just as you hear that music, as you hear those tones, Go into, you're invited to go into this gratitude to what you just said.
invited to gather around the crystal of remembrance. And we are inviting all the souls that would like to and want to be with us from all around the globe <coughs> who feel that we're doing something but they didn't know the way to here but they're here so we're creating a huge circle gathering around the crystal of remembrance and we're all floating on the water in our comfort the ocean is carrying us whether or not we would like to lie on the water whether or not we look we would like to float standing up or even in a, some kind of sitting situation the ocean will do whatever you prefer or in however form you would like to be here and we sense the thousands if not millions of people that are gathering with us and in addition to the crystal of remembrance there is the remembrance sign that is also with us and it's look it, there is one in each direction north south east and west and there are shamans from around the world that are building another circle around all these gathering people shamans indigenous wise ones keepers And there is Anastasia, Anastasia with her calf. She is a white humpback whale that keeps, uh, keeps joining us. And she is very strict with us, but she is very happy. She's happy that we're all here. And she is uh, swimming around the crystal of remembrance together with her calf and she has a message for us she requires us to learn to be still Cut down the movement, she says, especially for the next few months. Learn to be quiet, learn to be still, and learn to be attuned. There is a circle of seahorses building around the crystal of remembrance that's going into the water and most of them are pinkish some of them are orange and they come through with the same message interesting they're coming through with the same message that they brought through in the book Remembrance to the I Am, they're saying female, male. They're talking about 
us being male and female and that the male are birthing. But you know what? We're neither male nor, male nor female. We just are. We just are love. So receive our great love. And as we are allowed to receive this wonderful love coming from the seahorses, we are spreading this love accompanied with sparkling light into the ocean. And as we are gathering in the Pacific Ocean, we send it into the Pacific, all the way down into the deepest depths. where no human has ever been. This is where we send the cleaning and clarifying love with its wonderful light sparkles into the depths of the ocean. And from there we spread it into the Atlantic and into all the oceans on our planet, Mama Gaia. And we se we're sending it into all the lakes, all the rivers and all the streams. And we're sending it to all the streams um, the uh, fountains, <laughs> most of them up in the mountains. And we're sending it to every single drop of rain. We're sending it to the clouds. We're sending it into the water of the trees and all plants. We're sending this uh, sparkling love into all the animals and into all human beings. If they wish to receive it, it's an offering. And the sharks are here. There is a main shark. And the shark says, create clarity for yourself. Create clarity. And please, take some crystals and de-pollute the waters. Thank you, shark. We will do that right now. So each of us, these thousands and millions of souls gathering with us, each of us holding a crystal in our hands, a clear crystal of your choice. It may be a smoke crystal, it may be a citrine, it may be a mountain crystal, a clear aquamarine, whatever calls you, whatever crystal wants to be in your hand. And we're connecting to the crystal in our hand in gratitude and thankfulness that this crystal is here to work with us to co-create with us. And 
And if we know the, uh, the remembrance sign, we send the remembrance sign into that crystal. The love, the sparkling love from the seahorses we send into that crystal. Our own devotion we send into that crystal. And then we program this crystal and say, Purify. You know exactly what you need to do and you know exactly what needs to be done. So please purify. And we're giving this crystal into the water, into the water of your choice. May it be one or several places this crystal in your hand can multiply right now. You can send it to thousands and thousands of places, not even name them if you wish, or you just place it in one place. Purify. And so it is. Purification is taking place. The crystal of remembrance right now is sending a very, very clear light beam into the universe. It's um, like a sun color and it's sending a light beam into the ocean, connecting with the heart, with the center of Mama Gaia, where it's all bright and full of crystals. So Mama Gaia's heart is connected with the universe. And this power, this purification power, this loving power, this remembrance power, this knowledge power, this gratitude spreads into every existing wood drop on our planet. Including everything. Everything. And within the crystal of remembrance, in both pointers, there is bright shining light. And it's accompanying this happening right now. And all these vibes are now turning into crystalline dust. And this crystalline dust is spreading all over the planet and into the waters. And this crystalline dust we also program because it's crystals. And we say light, purification, clarity, and love are spread into every single cell that is water all around and within Mama Gaia.
crystals that have been dormant or being an awakened as we co-create right now. And every animal that is living in the water, being it fresh water or salted water, whatever kind of water the animal is living in, or even trees or plants, are now receiving a booster of remembrance. So this is kind of an ignition for us to grow to our deep knowledge. These animals will show us the path. They will guide us. And there are many, many sea animals that are now gathering with us around the crystal of remembrance in the ocean and it is so bright light full <laughs> so full of bright life light it's a circle that is starting to build and that circle is widening and widening and it's also going into the thousands and millions just like above with the human souls and by the way, the souls that will that are gathering with us, they're mostly human, but they're also animals and plants. And so it is in the ocean. It is brightly shining. And that is spreading again with ripples, light ripples. And these light ripples are going into the oceans and the lakes. And it is so amazing as we want to work for the waters and all its inhabitants and relations. We are being given gratitude and they encountered us first what a gift what a present let us be so thankful for everything there is and for what we have been given in this wonderful journey and me personally, I'm deeply touched of their encounters today and how they encountered us first. And so we give this gratitude back into every single cell of every single drop of water. Remember, even your breath is water. Remember, water made your birthing in onto this planet possible.
and remember you cried when you had to go out of that water. So remember your relation to water. We are thankful for every single soul that has been with us, for everybody who supported us in this water call above and below the water. For Anastasia, who greeted us at first with her calf, for the seahorses and everything there was the shark. And remember what the shark said. And remember what Anastasia said. And remember your relation to water. So when we're ready, we slowly deepen our breath and whenever we're ready we open our eyes again maybe move our hands And we're back in this physical present. And maybe you would like to drink some water as we're coming back deep appreciation for your presence and I would like to invite you to our free water call that we're doing on the 11th of each month we're doing it to circle and to feed the water and we'd love for you to be there And again, I would suggest we will stop the recording and if anybody would like to, or we have an exchange, but without the recording. <laughs>